Hey you, I'm celebrity menswear stylist Ashley Weston, joined by my partner and husband, Dorian. Hello, hello. Good to see everyone. So, you probably saw our video last week about the best budget-friendly chino pants for 2019. And well, we've got a surprise for you. One of our favorite brands in the entire world, a brand that Ashley has been working with, God, I don't even know. Since, I think, kind of think, since the company started. Yeah. You've it's been at using least them. six, seven, eight, probably eight plus years. I don't know. So as long as you've been working. <laughs> <laughs> She's been using their ties. We're huge fans of their ties, bow ties, as well as their dress shirts. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of their dress shirts. We've done a whole video and article about their dress shirts as well because they are just, ooh, fantastic. We replaced basically all of Dorian's Literally. collared shirts I with dress I, shirts. I had <laughs> bespoke collared dress shirts before. I pretty much got rid of them and replaced them all with the tie bar, yeah. video, uh, tie bar uh, uh, dress shirts. And they just come in so too many varieties not to own yeah. all of them. Um, so they told us that they were recently going to be releasing some chino pants. So like good consumers, we said, <laughs> please send them to yeah. us. We absolutely <laughs> want to try them out. So that's what we're here to talk about today. Okay, so the Thai bar sent us all the colors that they have for the Chino pants. Three colors. Three colors, so navy, light gray, <laughs> and khaki. What are you doing? Khaki brown, etc. Yeah, so three classic, classic uh, colors. So with the pants though, they have, so it's basically cotton with a little bit of stretch in it. Yep. And do they feel like they have some stretch? Definitely. I, you know, some other brands, when you kind of bend over, you're like, ooh, I can feel that kind of pulling in the seams a little bit if they're really well fitted. Um, but no, these are, these, I, I, I thought so and I had to look it up because I'm like, it's just a little give. It's not like super stretchy. 3% if I recall correctly. Yep. So that's the perfect amount. They're very, very, very comfortable. And I like that the material is actually a little thicker. So I have narrowed down the type of chino pant that I look for for my clients and for like Dorian and, and to recommend to you guys. And what I will always gravitate towards is a thicker chino um, fabric because when it's a thinner one, which even the higher end one, higher yeah. end brands will offer thinner chino pants, yeah. and as well as you know the <clears throat> more fast fashion, cheaper brands will offer it. H it doesn't look good. So H and M and Zara we tried out yeah. recently just to see if they changed their the material they were using. It, not really, unfortunately, mm -hmm. and it's really thin yes. and it's really wrinkly looking. Like even even when you've ironed it or steamed it. Even when you do that, it still looks kind of wrinkly and just kind of off. The fabric weight is off, I think. Thinner materials, thinner, thinner fabrics look messier because yeah. there's not like weight to them to help lay flat. Yeah. So especially with chino pants, you want to avoid that. They also have, so a lot of people may not be used to this, but they have a crease down the front and the back. I actually like the crease. I think sometimes, you know, you were a little thrown off by it, but I actually think that it looks more elevated. So it looks like a more elevated chino pant. I like slightly dressier chino pant. I, I actually thought it was, it was definitely like, oh, okay. I, I, I thought they'd be more flat front, <laughs> like most chinos <laughs> without a crease down the middle. But Ash pointed out, and then when we looked at it in the pictures, which we'll show in a minute, um, two different ways to wear them, um, that it does, weirdly enough, I think the, the, um, the pl pleat. The crease. I think the crease actually kind of makes it have like a slimming effect. If you're a larger guy actually with larger legs, I think it might help a little bit in kind of oh, no, taking away a little bit of the dimensional size yeah. of like the width. Let's now talk about the fit yeah. of the pant. Yep. So these are a slim fit, but when we put them on, I will say this, and they actually mention it on their website in their description, it's a slim but not tight fit. This pant definitely has more room in the thigh area and then it tapers down beautifully from the knee down to the ankle um, but it does have a little bit more room in the thigh so it's great if you just have like a little bit more of a thigh or even just a normal build if, if you're even regular if, size yeah I you can say. even be a thin guy and, and if you're just not not liking super super slim pants these are perfect for you so Ash, as well as just the general construction of them, because Tybar always has very high quality construction items. And the best part about that though, is it's paired with their pricing, yes. which is <laughs> always fantastic. So these run uh, about $60 with free shipping. I have to say, compared to 80 plus dollar ones, these ones punch above their weight for sure. Good price, yeah. like you're getting high value for the price. 
So guys, Ash did us all a favor, and we've done articles and videos about chino pants before, how to wear them, the sizing you should go for, how they should look, how you should style them, but Ash wanted to do something a little special with these and show you what. I want to show you just how you can easily dress up or dress down these pair of chino pants. But with a core outfit, yes. without changing the shirt, mm -hmm. the belt, and the pants. Yep. So Ash, what's the first outfit that you did? So the first outfit you'll see, it's actually what Dorian's wearing right now. So it's a more casual look. It's, you know, you're going out on the weekend, going to lunch with some friends, easy outfit to put together. Just threw on a pair of white sneakers and a denim jacket. But then, you know, if you want to dress it up a little, go to the office, go meet some friends for some drinks. What we did was just add, we wanted to elevate it a little more, add some formality. So we just threw on a blue sport coat and then threw on some um, penny loafers. Penny loafers, but actually that was more of a worker jacket? Yeah. Unstructured sport Unstructured coat. Unstructured yeah, sport coat. Best way to describe yeah. it. So Ash, the audience wants to know, obviously that's why they clicked on this video, are these the best chino pants of 2019? So I love the tie bar. Now, do I think these are the best chino pants? No, but I think they're great in terms of a dressed up chino pant, so a dressier version of a chino pant. I really like the price point of them. It's a very specific look that you would want to go for, and so that's why I can't say that they're the absolute best chino pants for 2019. They have a little bit more room in the thigh, so if that's what you want, fantastic. But are they the best this year? No. <laughs> Have you met the best ones this year yet? No. Okay. <laughs> so TBD on that. We'll see maybe if we can find something that will be the best. We don't know. But these are great if this yep. is what the style you're looking for. Yep. Very specific. But guys, thanks so much for watching. Thumbs if you liked it. Subs if you loved it. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.